Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to integrate the Django backend with React frontend. We will have two separate apps connected with the REST framework API package. And this video is kind of an experiment since YouTube itself suggested me that there's a pretty big demand on this particular topic. So yeah, I decided to create a short and simple video on this particular subject. So hope you guys enjoy it. All right, so I have two terminal windows open. One is going to be for the front end, the other one is going to be for the back end. So I'm currently in both cases at the desktop and let's create over here a shared directory where we are going to place the backend app, the frontend app, as well as the virtual environment for the backend. So I'm going to write a make directory and I'm going to name it FSP. FSP stands for full stack project. I'm going to access FSP and here let's begin with the front end. So I'm going to write npm create vite and then latest. So npm create vite at latest. I'm going to name this front end. Okay, it's going to be a React application. I'm going to select JavaScript and now let's access front end. Let's run npm install. And let's run npm run dev. I'm going to grab the local development address, paste it, and there we go. So the front end is installed and ready to go. Next, let's take care of the back end. So let's access the FSP directory. And over here, we need to first create the virtual environment. So I'm going to write virtual NV NV. I'm going to access NV, activate it. And now we need to install Django, Django REST framework for the API and also Django course headers. And if you are wondering why do we need Django course headers, it is because browsers have certain rules to keep the website safe. And one rule is that a website can't ask for things from another domain. So our Django backend and the React frontend are going to be on different domains. So the browser's rule will block them from talking to each other. And here the Django course headers package will help us with a certain setting that we are going to place in the settings py file, we will allow our backend to communicate with the frontend. So now let's install those packages. All right, so I'm going to now move back to the FSP directory. Over here we have the NV and the frontend directory. And now with the use of command Django admin start project core, I'm going to start a new Django project. So now if we list out the elements, we have also core. I'm going to rename core to backend. So MV or backend. Okay. And now I'm going to access the backend. Over here I have core and manage py file. So I'm going to create the tables in the database with Python manage py migrate. Next I'm going to create a super user. So we can log in to the Django administration. And I'm also going to create an application called posts. All right, so now I'm going to open up Visual Studio Code with the code space dot command. 
or actually I'm going to close this and then I'm going to move up one directory. Okay, and here I'm going to open it up. Here, let's start with the backend. I'm going to head over to core, open up the settings py file, head over to the installed apps list, and I'm going to place in the rest framework. Then what I'm going to do is to add course headers and our posts application. Then as the next step, I'm going to write course allowed origins origins and here i'm going to place in our react local development uh, address okay so basically we are allowing django to talk to this particular domain to, to talk to this particular address let's save the settings py file and let's head over to the post application in the models py file let's create a very simple class which is going to be named post it inherits from models.model and here we will define only two fields so we will have a title let's set the max length to 200 and we will also have a body and this is going to be a models text field let's also add a string representation method and here let's return an f string and i'm going to place over here post and i'm going to inject the title all right so let's save this let's head over to the admin from dot models we want to import post and then admin site register post perfect Next, I'm going to create the API directory in the post application. And here I'm going to place in three files, serializers.py, and the views.py, and the urls.py. So let's begin with the serializers. And with the use of post serializer, we are going to convert our Django model into the JSON format so we can easily send it over the web. So it will inherit from um, serializers. So serializers model serializer to be more precise. So from REST framework serializers, we want to import the model serializer. Let's pass it over here. And I'm going to write class meta, indicate that the model is going to be post. So again, we need to do an import from dot dot models. We want to import the post class. And then we need to specify the fields. So here we will place title and the body. And also let's place in the ID. Okay. Let's save this and now let's head over to the views. Over here, let's import from REST framework view sets or from REST framework view sets, let's import the model view set and let's create a class which is going to be named post view set. It inherits from model view set. Let's write a query set, and this is going to be post objects all, but first we need to bring in the post model. So from dot dot models, we want to import the post class. And let's write over here post objects all. And then we need to define the serializer class. So from dot serializers, we want to import the post serializer there we go perfect let's save this and let's head over to the urls over here i'm going to begin from the imports so from django urls we want to import path 
then we will need to import from REST framework the default router. So from REST framework routers, routers, we want to import the default router. And from dot views, we want to import the post view set. All right, so now I'm going to create the post router, and this is going to be equal to the default router. And here we are going to register as posts the post view set. Okay. So next we need to move into core. Over here, let's also create an API directory. And here I'm going to place only URLs py file. Here I'm also going to bring in the default router from REST framework routers. Let's import the default router. And then from posts API URLs, we want to import the post router. And from Django URLs, we want to import path and include. Okay, so now let's write router is equal default router. And we can now extend the router with the post router registry. So if we have many applications, we can do it for posts, we can do it, I don't know, for comments, for, I don't know, for uh, texts and so on, okay? So let's write for post router registry, 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 there we go. And then extend, and we need to pass in the post router registry. Registry, 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 like this. Okay, and now we need to include this in the URL patterns. So path, this is going to be the main path. And I'm going to write include router URLs. Okay, so to be more precise, this particular path is going to be the main path, but in the posts, we defined that our path to the posts is going to be posts like this. Okay. So we will see how this works in practice. For now, I'm going to save this. And yeah, I think we are done with the backend. So let's move to the terminal and run the migrations. Python manage py make migrations. And we have an issue and open file users, no such file or directory. So we are at FSP, so we need to move into the backend. All right, and now let's try this one more time. Python manage py make migrations and origin localhost in course allowed should not have path. So let's move to the settings and remove the slash. And let's try this one more time. Okay. And then Python manage py migrate. Perfect. And let's run the development server. Now, as you can see, we have a confirmation that the Django has been installed successfully. If we go to the Django administration, we should be able to log in, and there we go. But uh, we have a page not found while accessing the API route, and this is because we didn't include our URLs defined in the core API folder um, in the main URLs py file. So let's do this. I'm going to write path set it as API, and then here we need to bring in include, and we want to include the core API URLs. Let's save this, let's reload the page, and over here we have now 
the route to the posts. And now we can decide whether we want to create the post from the Django administration or from over here. So I'm just going to write test post one, test body one. Okay. The other one I'm going to create from over here, test post two, test body two. Okay. Two objects, two objects. So next let's head over to the front end and over here, let's create a NV file. Here I'm going to paste in the API URL. So this is uh, referring to our main API address. Okay. So it's referring to this particular page. Okay. And yeah, let's uh, save the NV file and let's head over to source and let's access app JSX. Let's remove everything from over here. Let's remove this count. Let's remove everything from here as well. Let's keep the use state and let's bring in the use effect hook. All right. So now in the use effect hook, I'm going to try to retrieve the v v the Vit API URL. All right, so I'm going to write console log and here let's write import meta then nv and we need to write fight API URL. Let's see if this will work. I'm going to save this. Okay. Let's go to the console. And there we go. So we have it two times. And this is because the React strict mode is on. So I'm going to comment it out. Let's reload the page. And now we have it only one time. So let's go back. Let's go to app.jsx. And here I'm just going to paste some code for fetching the data and setting the data and we will see the result in the console. And maybe let's write over here, hello world, so we won't see a blank page. And yeah, let's try this out. So we, we see hello world, let's reload the page. And over here we have uh, an error that there is a problem with the course policy, no access control allowed origin, although we installed Django course headers. And the reason for this is that we actually didn't completely install the course headers package. Mainly we forgot about adding middleware. So somewhere above the common middleware, I'm going to add course headers and then middleware and course middleware. And now if I didn't make any spelling mistake, this should work. So I'm going to save this. And we still have this issue. I'm going to quit the development server and run it again. And there we go. Here are our objects. Test post one. And then we have test post two. Perfect. So I think we can finish this tutorial over here. This was an example how to integrate Django with React as two separate apps connected by the REST framework API. If you enjoyed this tutorial, consider subscribing to the channel and I hope to see you guys in the next one.